This will be a freeze test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X, whatever you want to call this phone. Now, both of these phones are IP rated, IP68 water and dust resistant for the 9 and IP67 for the 10. So I want to see what will happen if you freeze these phones. Will they survive or will it be the end of their life? Let's find out. I do have some sparkling water here as you can see. Crystal geyser, sparkling spring water, natural lime flavor. So let's just get into it. Fairly straightforward test. All right, let me put this down. Sorry for the shaky cam, but Nice. Okay, here we go. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. I am getting ahead of myself. Come on, man. Do better than that. Okay. There you go. Now pour it in, and let's go. Woohoo! A little bit more. Why not? Okay, and okay. Looks like I don't have enough, but not to worry. Got another one. So let me see if I can open this one handed. Nope. All right, let me do it this way. Put this down and here we go. And let's pour the rest of this or yeah, just pour it in here. Note 9? Okay, I'll stop right there. It's about even, right? Look at the water level. It's about the same. Maybe a little bit more on the 10. iPhone 10, iPhone X. There you go, that's about right. Cool, what are the phones doing right now? They're just chilling. Okay, some activity on the Note. So, okay. And iPhone 10 looks pretty idle. Oh, the note changed screens again. Okay, iPhone 10, pretty idle. All right, cool. Put the lids on. Okay, now it's doing something. iPhone. And this one. Okay, now time to put these two phones in the ice box. So here's my ice box, you can see. Okay, got some room right there. Take the iPhone and stick it in the ice box. There you go. And then. Galaxy Note 9. Oh, what's going on with the screen? That's doing something. Okay. Right there. Both phones, as you can see. All right, let's close this up. Boom. So, take my Galaxy S9 Plus. And let's see, let's go to the clock right now. And let's start it up. Start. So you can see. All right, so I'm gonna leave the phones in the ice box for, I don't know, six, seven, eight hours. 
until it's frozen solid. Then we'll go check on the phones later on. And we are in. So it's the following day. 12 hours later, I say, what's up to my cat? 12 hours, 37 minutes later, next day, sun is out, etc. So let's um, go ahead and get these phones out of the fridge, out of the ice box. Oh boy. I don't know about this. Let's see. Okay, this I think, I don't even know which one this is. Woo, you hear that? Rock solid. Get this one out too. This one, I think it's the, I think this, I think this is the, this one's the note. This one is the um, iPhone, I think. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm wrong. This is the note, okay. iPhone 10 or the iPhone X. All right, let's get these phones out of here. Look at that. Woo! Do the same thing to this. Okay. Frozen solid. Very nice. So you can see. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and Note 9, iPhone 10, say hello. All right, time to, get, time to take you guys out. Here is my hot water and let's just... Okay, let's see. Okay. iPhone. Galaxy. All right, so can I get it out? Nope, not yet. Need more. Okay, let's see if that does a trick. Can I get the phone out? I can. Okay, here's the, the note. Put that to the side. Here's the iPhone iPhone 10. Okay, so let's, um, let's see, let's, we'll do it this way. Kind of flip this over and now look at that. Always on display, still on. That's a good sign. iPhone 10 now, let's see what happens. still on and the battery level it's still pretty much at a hundred percent it was at a hundred or close to a hundred when I put it in the freezer and it's still at a hundred percent very nice the galaxy you can see that says 84 percent so it's around like 94 or 95 percent just under a hundred so I lost about 10 percent in 12 hours in freezing cold not too bad and it still works. So let's check this out. Let me just test out the screen so you can see. Still working. Go to settings. And doing just fine. Now there's a notification. What did that say? This says, if I can get to focus, check charger, USB port, moisture has been detected, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty normal, I'd say. And this one, I don't see any notification of any kind. You know, just stuff. Cool. So let me test out one more thing. Let me test out the YouTube. Oh, what's that? Okay, let me do a search for... This one, this is my 
background music I play on some of my videos, which one is it? This one. Take a listen to the speaker. Volumes all the way. Whoops. No thanks to that. Okay, now the volume's all the way up, and there's barely any sound coming from the speaker. Volume's all the way up, but it sounds like as if it's 20 or 25% volume. So, so the volume's kinda, it's kinda low right now, but, let me see. Let this phone dry out completely. I believe that speaker will go back to 100%. Now one more test, test out the camera. Make sure this is functional, and I am seeing some condensation in the picture right now. Now let me, hold on a second, let me take a look at the lens. Is that like, all right, I think there's some condensation in the lens actually. Um, so we'll see how that is in like, in a little bit, see if it dries out or whatever, but let me just take this test picture right now. I'll put this at the end of the video so you guys can take a look, make sure it's in landscape. And there you go. So you can see the live function worked. Very nice. All right, so I'd say this phone survived this test for the most part. I'd say let it dry out and should return back to normal pretty much. Put that to the side and let's take a look at the Galaxy. Let's test out the speaker of this one also. Let's see, connect to the internet. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi. And it should be connected, right? There you go. Okay, let me do the same search. Let's play this. Okay, now the volumes, you, you can see, that's all the way up. But there's barely nothing coming out of the speaker. And put it next to the mic. I mean, it's as if like it's 5% volume. What if I try to shake it? Okay, see if that'll improve it. Kind of doubt it, but no thanks to this. Play. Oh, here we go. Much louder. Still sounds distorted AF though, but I'm gonna say Let this phone dry out. The speaker should pretty much go back to normal. Very nice. Okay, so one more thing I wanna check out. I wanna check out the camera, but not only the camera, the remote function of the camera with the S Pen. Okay, so let me take the S Pen out right now. Test a couple of things. First of all, if the S Pen will work, get it out. Here we go, S Pen, and then let's write something right now. I'm gonna write, so you can see the S Pen still works, even after being frozen for about 12 hours or so. Okay. Test two, that looks like an F. I meant to write a T, all right, whatever, but yeah. S Pen still works. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Why not? So that function works perfectly fine. But let's test out the, um, the remote function of the camera. So what I'm gonna do right now is, okay, see that right there? I'm gonna take a picture of this using the S Pen remote. Let's see if this works. And I believe if you click S Pen remote, okay, well there's a reaction there. So it detects the S Pen is trying to be used. So let me click start. Okay, let's, uh, I believe one press. And single press take picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this will work. And let's go. It just took that picture. So this, the S Pen remote, the S Pen still works, even submerged in water. So now there's, obviously there's power in here, etc. So 
the pen is also IP68 water and dust resistant. So even the pen survived this test. Very nice. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought about this little experiment between the Galaxy Note 9 versus the iPhone 10 or X, whatever you call this phone. Thanks for watching. Peace out.